Hey guys, Holly Benaway here, former world champion boxer. <laughs> so I bet you're wondering what this strange contraption is on my head. And uh, I'm wondering the same thing now. Um, so this thing, I guess, is supposed to get you to cover up really fast. I haven't quite figured this out, but we're gonna we're gonna do it together. Ah! You gotta be able to laugh at yourself, you know? can't take everything so serious. I'm not going to be saying that in just a second when this thing hits me in the teeth. <laughs> there you go. Fill it out with a jab. All right, let me put this hair up. Now watch me outsmart this ball. I'm about to get the hang of it. Try to land an uppercut on it. Yeah. This reminds me of being in the ring, listening to like some old country gal repetitively yelling, throw the uppercut. <laughs> Man, country folk love the uppercut. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm obviously new to this medieval contraption. It's one of those things, like, if you think about it, it's not there anymore. But if you think, like, I'm going to land three punches, you'll land a couple of them. You know, if you'd asked me, like, a year ago, if, uh, if I'm going to make a comeback to pro boxing, I would have said absolutely. You know, I always thought I was going to be like a world champion until I was like, you know, 45 years old, especially watching fighters like Bernard Hopkins, who was like in his fifties and he was, uh, doing pushups in between rounds, you know, while he's cooling some kid 25 years younger than him. <laughs> Several years ago, um, I got inducted into the St. Louis Boxing Hall of Fame, which, uh, you know, it's quite an honor. But like at the time, I was thinking like, like, y'all think I'm done? <laughs> you know, it was kind of like, hey, I'm not done yet, which, uh, you know, I guess that was about the time of my exit from professional boxing. Ooh, did you see that one? <laughs> I don't know who did the advertisement for this, but he needs to train me. Nah, I could have boxed a whole lot longer. I just... Like I was, I was chasing the, the limelight and I was chasing, um, the big opportunities, you know, if I would have just stuck with a promoter, a little local promoter that, you know, could have had my own favorite judges, you know, I, I could have went the safe route, but that just wasn't enough for me ever. It's like, there wasn't enough respect and just beating, um, you know, the local American girls and whoever held the title in your country, you know, you like world champion comes with like fighting the best in the world and some of those girls aren't leaving home so you got to go to them I get really sick of the politics of it you know but everything happened the way it should have Also, being a pro boxer is like a super strict life, you know, and I didn't know it. <laughs> I didn't know it because I grew up with a strict life, you know. I didn't go to restaurants or anything. 
I wasn't allowed to go do anything. And neither are pro boxers, you know? I mean, I guess going to restaurants is cool, but you really can't like stay up late or have a social life or drink alcohol or, you know, do any of the things that people enjoy doing as a boxer. It's just always focus, focus, focus. You know, the more you celebrate and do all that stuff after the fight, like the harder it is coming back, starting a new training camp. I, I wouldn't change a thing, guys. I wouldn't change a thing. I took some, some learning lessons with me and, you know, part of me thinks like, if I had it to do over again, I could, I could uh, do this different or that different and keep all the bad things away from me. But those were learning lessons and, <laughs> no, what I'm really happy to be doing is like getting to be myself on this channel with you guys, you know, like I'm making a living just, just talking about whatever I want to talk about. I'm just trying to keep it positive for you guys, but, uh, but I'm loving this, you know, cause being yourself, that's, that's what life's about being able to be your, your true self. And thank you guys for that. I'll see you tomorrow on hollydunaway.com or on YouTube. Bye, guys.